Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use the uh, newest Superbase MCP server that has write access uh, on your database. Uh, so this is a very exciting new MCP server that allows you to basically um, have full CRUD operations with your database compared to the previous ones we saw uh two weeks ago the postgres one unfortunately if you're still using a self-hosted superbase database you cannot use the one i'm going to show you in this video because it requires a personal access token i'm still looking away for you guys to uh, also get access but uh what we'll need to do is first stop uh last uh, last two weeks we were using this code so uh, we need to specify the postgres uh, connection string this just uh is not needed anymore so we can just remove that and we'll have this instead so let's do control mu so this is going to be the uh, actual command and then the one thing we're going to change is the personal access token you don't even need to pass your connection string anymore so let me show you how to get that actual personal access token so go to your superbase project then i want you to add into account preferences at the top right right here and then access tokens at the left under the account tab then you can create a new token so we'll go ahead to generate a new token and then we'll wait for it to load and we'll be able to get that code right here so let's just copy it keep that because it's not gonna appear anymore uh, and then I just paste it here so this is Pretty much done right now uh, this command is going to be in the description uh, down there if you have any problems feel free to join the discord the link is in the description and uh, you can ask any question for free uh, and then we'll check in with the uh, cursor settings so if I do control shift P um, I'm gonna be able to do cursor settings and then if I go in the uh, MCP uh, settings right here if it wants to click yeah uh, I'll just restart it just like that so everything should be good right now so if I go to my chat I open my chat and I do something like let's say uh, what about uh, create a new table in my database called players with random columns your choice so we'll write that and we'll see if it triggers the MCP server uh, I'm pretty sure it will do so as you can see calling MCP tools uh, we can see right here what is it gonna do so as you can see it uh, basically listed my organization for uh, some reason um, so it's uh, it saw the active project I have uh, and it's going to create a migration to the actual table create table public players as you can see like I asked them to I use uh, run tool and then I've created a new table called players with those following columns then it's going to run a list tables which allows us to basically check out um, it's going to check out the project ID and I guess it's going to try to see if it created the table uh meanwhile yeah so it actually saw that it created the table and if i go to my actual database uh, if i go to all projects so my biz and i check out um this players table wasn't there before it just got created so as you can see it's the uh, same table it created there um, and there's nothing in there so let's try to add a row so uh, let's ask it um, please add a dummy row into the players table so we'll ask it to add a row and we'll see what it does so uh, it says first I'll check if there are any profiles in the database since we need a valid profile ID so this is very great because I see that the MCP tool actually well cursor more, more than the MCP tool actually understood that uh, in every other table I use a profile ID relation to the actual profiles table which allows me to basically store my users um, basically relation to a specific row so if I go to players and then let's go back to the uh, cursor we can see that it's trying to find one uh, profile ID which it found then 
what is it going to do insert into public into public players so this is actually what we wanted and if i go look into yeah so you see the row just got added so this is pretty much how you do it pretty simple pretty fast uh again if you have any questions come in the discord uh you can open a thread there and it would be my pleasure to help you but i think it's a very good way to increase the vibe coding aspect i think you can do a lot of things with that so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one